are you scared of your future as a popular vlogger, producer, DJ, fame? My secrets, my secrets, too dangerous to Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. It's yeah past six. I spent the entire day here in the office with these two fellas, like doing a lot of promotion stuff, a lot of work, a lot of planning, like everything a lot, but um, no music and no video recording because it was actually so busy. So I think it's time for, for an emergency Q&A where you guys just ask me questions, I answer them and anything I forgot, the giveaway, right? Yeah, the, the giveaway. There is a giveaway. So uh, let's start with the giveaway. The giveaway for, for this week, I completely forgot it. We already started last Friday. So you got like half a week left to participate. The Isotope Spire is the giveaway. It's like a little sound card usually meant for people doing sessions, recording outside. It doesn't need any power. It can hold the power four hours without like any cable. You can plug two mics in, record mobile, have two headphones, phantom power. And it will also very likely be the device that I use for the podcast. Like in the studio, I don't really need it because I have like more professional, sophisticated stuff with eight ins and outs. But for like having it mobile, phantom power and battery power, that's actually not, not bad. So if you're interested, first link in the description to my Instagram and you'll be able to participate. And yeah, question time. I absolutely love that light. That's like very dramatic if it's dark outside and you got like one light source. But anyway, let's start with the first question that I got. The first question says, no questions, just big ups once more from India. Thanks a lot. Cheers to all of my Indian friends. They all told me what the snack in yesterday's video was all about and sounds delicious. I'll try it out. What are the best labels for progressive house? I actually don't really know. I mean, my last song was considered progressive house but the best labels, it's changing a lot. And I think, no, I, I can't say. Maybe just go to Beatport, check the top 100, be always up there, check out who's doing what, who's doing the most for the artist and what kind of style you like the most. I think uh, Juna Deep is really good. They do like Deep House, Progressive House, Lane 8. It's really killing it. But like even Progressive House has so many sub kind of styles. So you really have to find something specific that fits to whatever you make. What's your number one go-to production technique you use often in your tracks that I use often? I mean, obviously low cutting, EQing, side chaining, compression, like the standard stuff, the, the fancy stuff I always use. Hmm. No, not really. I try to keep it simple and clean and like minimal, but still make it sound big. I think reverbs are really important. So I'd say the Valhalla Vintage Verb, it's on every single track. I don't even open any other reverb plugin. I just like it and I'm so used to it. So I, I know how to set it the way I want it to be. What song would you first play in your dream car? Obviously the song I'm working on at that moment, whenever I get my dream car, my dream car is actually, uh, Z3 BMW, which is really, really inexpensive. You can get them like for 8,000 euros. So that might be actually something that might work out in the future. I'm not so much about fancy cars, but maybe if I have the cash for some fancy cars, I, I might think about them. By the way, number four in Beatport. Yes, my song Secrets reached number four in Beatport, which is really, really amazing. And thanks a lot again for all of the support. Everyone like like cheering me up and, and hoping for me to reach even higher. So if you're interested, the link in the description will lead you to the song Spotify, Apple Music, and of course, Beatport. How to make deep voices like Peace of Your Heart by Medusa. That's like the, the biggest hit song at the moment that is electronic music. It's played on radio, up and down, up and down every single day. And I think it's actually a good song. I, I really like it, it's catchy and still kind of has this underground vibe to make the voice I think there are a lot of steps involved in making that voice. First, of course, the source, so the singer. You need someone that already has this kind of voice and a trained voice that can manipulate it. Then the next is the key you choose to play the song in and to have the voice in there. And then the microphone. I think for this song, they actually used this one right here. It's the Shure SM7B. It's the one that also Michael Jackson used for, for his breakthrough album. 
it is very bass heavy. The closer you go, the bass heavier it will be. That's like a good choice if you want something bass heavy, dark for your productions. For female singers, something bright, something orchestral or stuff like that, I wouldn't recommend it. It's mostly used for podcasts, voiceovers, and if you need someone to sing low and bass heavy, that's usually the, the way to go. And then of course the processing with the EQing, you can further alter it then of course with pitching it up and down. But if you don't want it to be pitched up or down, you can of course also use the format. So most plugins and logic it's included. There's like a, a shifter, a pitch shifter, it has format, which changes basically the volume of the lungs or of the body that makes the tone. And this way you can make it darker without changing the pitch. Just try it out, it's really amazing. How's the ventilation in your studio? I don't see any AC or cooling system. Um, it's Germany, it's cold, we don't need ACs. It's like maybe 10 days per year where it's too warm to work inside, then you just go outside and chill a little. But 90%, 95% of the year it's like, dark, cold and raining. You see that's like the typical weather in Germany. It's raining a little, it's gray, no sunshine, it's dark already and it's getting cold. It's not that, that pleasing. Like uh, if you live in India, the US and some nice places it might be warm, you might need an AC in Germany not. We got instead of an AC, this huge machine, a huge oil tank, a lot of pumps. Just to make sure to keep this place heated. Like. This room right there is like one third of the rent I'm paying, like just, just the heating. But hey, it's an entire building in the middle of nowhere in the harbor, so there is no, no building around it heating it up. So the, the heating is quite expensive, but the rent is actually quite low. So in total, it's, it's fine, it's good. I'm happy, I can be as loud as I want to here and just be creative and, and make music. Should I mix while producing or should I wait until the song is finished? It's only finished if you've also mixed it and mastered it and made it ready for release. But in general, I personally already mix a little bit while producing because mixing is part of the sound. So I already EQ a little here and there, add distortion, add reverbs. But then once the entire song is there, all of the tracks are in there, all of the elements, I then basically mix it further and more in depth. That's at least my working process. I know some people just do all of the recording and then mix it, but I think for electronic dance music, that's actually not possible. This definitely works if you do recorded stuff for bands and stuff like that, but Electronic dance music, you have to mix it at least half while already producing. Black Friday is coming up, so which plugin for mixing is a must have or would you buy? What's your opinion? I will do a special video about Black Friday deals, all of them, and like let you know where to get what the cheapest and what I would recommend, but I probably need one more week to prepare it. Sometimes when I bounce a song out to MP3 wave, it does not sound all alike what it sounded like in my DAW any idea how to fix it. Usually it should actually sound better because all of the, the processing is out of the equation. MP3 of course is cutting a lot in the low part of the, of the song, but a wave should actually sound better. So maybe check, double check the, the options, maybe reset your DAW to default. Maybe you've set something in a wrong way and then, then go through it again, but it, it should actually sound better, more stable no artifacts. How long should someone wait for their second release? I would suggest like two, three months if possible. The shorter, the better, not closer than a month because that's just like, just doesn't make a lot of sense. You don't have the time to promote, but yeah, get a song out there, wait two months, the next one, two months, the next one, and try to keep that up. At the beginning, very hard to accomplish. I also struggle myself every single time with it. But yeah, just as many sounds as you can put out in, in a good high quality. What happens if your song becomes number one? <laughs> I don't know if it, it gets number one on the progressive house charts. There's still the overall beatboard charts, but I think that's very unlikely. I'm still a way too small artist, but maybe with one of the upcoming album songs. Are you scared of your future as a popular vlogger, producer, DJ, fame? No, actually not. Like, I'm not even 
thinking about it really or planning ahead for anything to happen. I just live by the day, do the stuff that is necessary, try to push it as hard, do as much stuff as I can possibly do, strategize, do stuff that like just helps me to advance and get rid of the shit that like hinders me from getting further. So no, scared, definitely not. Like I think the only thing could be like heavy, heavy, heavy touring. That might be something that I'm not so into. I love DJing. I love performing my songs, like making them and then playing them, seeing directions of the people. It's very fulfilling, but having to DJ every every second day is too much. Because I already got to know a couple of really big famous DJs and they're then just like empty. Like they just follow what their manager, tour manager says and just stand there, DJ next gig standard dj next gig and like i don't know that's not so desirable do we have any other hobbies than making music or djing <sighs> no not really actually like i turned my hobby into a job so there's no hobby left i think like the vlog the vlogging the filming the creative part of the filming that's maybe my 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 hobby somehow but other than that exercising now a little like since two or three months but that's really it like whenever i don't work on music don't work on the vlog don't work with emails don't plan anything there's not much maybe watching netflix with vanessa hanging out with her traveling traveling is definitely fun i would love to travel more it's really like it helps me it's like a stop a break and then I recover and have even more energy and accomplish more. And it's always fun to see new stuff and experience that new countries, new food. We're, by the way, uh, planning our trip to Sri Lanka in less than a month. And by the way, speaking of Netflix, um, if you haven't seen it yet, the, the end of the fucking world, I think it's called. It's really cool. Like it's short, like 25 minutes each episode, but it's, it's really, really good. Very artistic nice camera cool story a little bit like like the old quentin tarantino stuff does your label release trans no like progressive house yes but trans definitely no but if you're interested just submit your demo we will listen to it give you feedback and then just see if it fits how about copyright infringement and in clubs is it allowed to play music from Martin garrix david Guetta? yes 100 percent. you're allowed the club owner usually has to pay like a fee. At least that's the law in Germany. I don't know about other countries, but yeah, definitely allowed. Hmm. My phone just died. <laughs> so I think it's about time to end this uh, Q&A. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you have any questions, just hit me up on Instagram. Once this is charged again, I will try and answer all of them personally. And don't forget about the giveaway also on Instagram. Um, and yeah, that's it. See you tomorrow again. Sign up. In my mind, I'll stay.